Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho You're not like the others, no No changing behaviors Not sure how to act around you guys and welcome welcome back to another woto woto banga another banga from the black Vity tv eh? guys we are still on the street of trinidad <laughs> you know what is happening in trinidad if you are new here shout out to you <laughs> i love you back to back knock that like button and then subscribe to the black beauty tv because here we say it the way it is we are not afraid of anybody because uh, reaction and disclaimer anything i say in my channel is all for entertainment we say it the way it is and we entertain people back to back this is the cocoa in this our tea now. Uh uh, why did I say we're still in ja No, Trinidad. We might enter Jamaica. I don't know, but we are bomber to bomber uh, right now in Trinidad. Because of what? Guys, yesterday, eh, I'm sorry that I did not post video. I sat that. In fact, I was lying down like this on my bed and look at YouTube street. I say, ah, it's weekend now. I should have done video, but there was no how I could have done video yesterday because. Everything was too tight for me, but no problem. It's not too late. We are back to back. Bam, bats for bam, bat now. I said, guys, hey, tell them on the comment section if you don't know the cocoa or you don't know the tingo, what Muzungu is. Now, a Muzungu from Canada is now the Messiah. Is now the Messiah in Trinidad, Trinidadians, Trinidadians. What is wrong with Wuna? Hey, what is wrong with some Trinidadians? They give our uncle, eh? They give him letter, say, uncle, they give you your passport. Uncle, go home. Uncle said no. Now, this attention that he's giving, or this attention that he's getting in Trinidad, he cannot get it. In Canada, okay, I can understand him because they say he still have, is he on the 13th or when did they say he still have his court case? So he have to stay back to back. So Oga said he's not moving anywhere. He's staying there and there to collect all the attention people are giving him. Guys, come and see. Trinidadians worshipping Christmas list like a Jesus. <laughs> What Christmas list has been looking for, he got everything in Trinidad. All this attention and worshipping, worshipping a Muzugu like your God. Hey, Trinidadians, I'm ashamed. Me, daughter of the soil, I'm provoked. You enter, look at him walking on the street, school children, everything. Freedom, freedom, freedom. And now some Trinidadians that could not say anything, they are now using Christmas lists against their government. What a shame. You are saying that freedom, freedom. They will show you the paper of freedom. No, there is not only freedom. I don't even want to say too much. Let us go and watch this his video on the street. We watch a lot of his videos today. It's shameful. So people will say, oh, why are you talking like that? Yes, it's, it's, it's a shameful thing. It's shameful that Muzungu is now your, he come back. Eh, Muzungu came back to Trinidad after slave trade and now is the second Messiah or the first Messiah now in Trinidad. Is that not shameful? It's very, very shameful to see that among all of you, you sit down like this and you worship this man like a god. Shame on you all. Let us go and watch them, guys. Hello, are you I I you you my favorite. Back, um, right? Canada, You're my favorite. Nike, man, lyrics. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know that. 
This is the light green as mine. Okay, where you are? Mark me, mark me. Yeah, but you gotta give me an empty spot. I should have had a slower slogan. My slogan is too long. <laughs> Free. Nice, that one nice, that one nice. Freeling some bus. Yeah. You're my favorite. <laughs> hey man, get your hand off my neck, man. Now go get me some Cheetos and hush. What the What the Guys, never ending saga. Really? What the Buffalo soldier <laughs> in the heart of America. <laughs> Dreadlock master. <laughs> if you know your history, <laughs> and you will know where you're coming from. <laughs> Buffalo soldier today. Buffalo soldier tomorrow and buffalo soldier forever. Trinidadian shame or shame or shame. Eh, wagwan, Trinidadian wagwan. Trouble the day. <laughs> eh, you have gotten another messiah. Another buffalo soldier, another messiah. <laughs> This one is not Buffalo Soldier, no. It's the one who stole the Buffalo Soldier and sold it to America. And now, the one who stole the Buffalo Soldier and took Buffalo Soldier to America is now the one that is coming back to steal again another Buffalo Soldier and go and keep in America. Trinidad, you don't know your history. <laughs> And then you, if you don't know your history, then you don't know where you are coming from. Eh, fire burn them every time and every day. Anybody eh, that want to make Muzungu the second Messiah, coming of the second Messiah in the Caribbean, fire burn them every time and every day. This is what this Muzungu man wanted, and he got it back to back. He wanted this fame. He wanted to become everything. And Trinidadia said, Hey, we give it to you, bomba to bomba. Somebody is trying to make me behave somehow. He's calling me. I don't know. Hold on, my people. So, guys, yes, this is what this Chris wanted. Hey, he wa he, we Africans, we refuse. <laughs> We refuse to worship Christmas list like Jesus. Never ever. We refuse, we Africans, we refuse to worship him as, as the Messiah. He can never get this thing with us in Africa. Never. Only in the Caribbean, he go there in Trinidad and get this nonsense. Come and see people on the street. Hailing Christmas list like this is their God. This is their Jesus. This thing is really, in fact, I said, what a disgrace. I never knew that. You, you look at it, he has become celebrity in Trinidad overnight. Now Christmas list became a celebrity. Eh? From a YouTuber to one fake journalist. From fake journalist. Now he's, he's now even giving his people his signature. Giving children his signature on the street. When I see these people, I said, "What well, that shall never end. What well, one Trinidad. And the government is keeping quiet, folding their arms like this and doing nothing and just leave this guy to do and undo on their street and he go free like this. Let me, as a black woman, let me come to Trinidad and do what Christmas list did. Guys, they will buy me. They will not leave me to even see the next day. But because he's a Muzungu man, they are even worshipping him and licking his feet. Come and see him how he's walking on the street. We are going to watch it. Walking majestically on the street of Trinidad and nobody can do him anything. As we are talking this Christmas list, I watch this Coco girl. Maybe I don't want to be playing her video. 
maybe let me i will just be playing it as i'm talking so that it doesn't take my time this i don't want it to be a long video like long long like this 50 minutes or so no short but beautiful i saw this coco girl she learned this thing from christmas list but she was afraid to post these videos when she was in trinidad it was when she left trinidad guys what a shame coco girl is not telling people not to go to trinidad can you imagine Coco girl is not telling people that Trinidad is a danger zone. Coco girl, I don't, I don't think she will ever go back to Trinidad. I asked myself, I said, these particular YouTubers, they are not the first YouTubers who went, like, traveled to Trinidad. As we all know, we in African community, I'm not talking of other communities. Mm -mm. Because you know in YouTube, you have different kinds of communities. We here in African communities, let us put it this way. They are not, they, they did not go, Godemaya has been in Trinidad. African Tigress and Godemaya, they were in Trinidad. I think African Tigress even went to Trinidad twice. Guys, did you see any scandal? African Tigress went to Trinidad, Godemaya went to Trinidad. They left, there was no one scandal, nothing. In fact, everything was like nothing happened. Now, Christmas list, Dimwango, Coco Girl, they just entered Trinidad. It's catastrophe anywhere. All over is catastrophe. It's catastrophe. Scandal. Now, Coco Girl in her video saying that she's promoting uh, Trinidad. She's showing people that the people that people are telling her not to go, all these gang boys, gangsters. People are telling her, oh, don't go to these gangs. But she, she wants to go there and discover. That's what Coco Girl said. She says she wants to go there and show the whole world that these are the good people in Trinidad. So let me, I ask myself, I said, in Trinidad, is it only gangsters that exist? Because if you watch Coco Girl and Christmas List videos, you are not going to see any responsible person in that country. I'm sorry to say this thing because all the people they show us, only gangsters. That is why I ask myself, I said, are there not responsible people in Trinidad? Is it only gangsters that live in Trinidad? Why must they choose to only go and find gangsters? Is that how to promote Trinidad? Are they telling us now that there are no any other group of people in Trinidad about, apart from this, uh, our brothers, black boys, smoking, holding guns, and doing bad, bad things? They don't have any good community to show us in Trinidad. When you are doing things, you have to balance it for people to see. When you take your camera and be going to only uh, these places that young boys are smoking, eh, the ganjas, holding the, the guns, you should also try and go to the other community that they have responsible people. Because there is no how you will tell me that in Trinidad is only gangsters that, that, that exist in that country. Because... As for me now, guys that have not gone, like I said, African Tigress, when she was there, African Tigress went there during the uh, carnival. You want to go, you understand, even though she showed us something, but she showed more of carnival and people. And now, this Coco Girl and Chris, the only thing these guys are showing us is only these gangsters. Where can somebody show me the good thing from these people that which video really promote that country in a very good way? At the same time, the same, same Trinidadians, they will come and clap for these people and be asking these people to sign signature for them on the road. Let us read something, guys. Somebody posted one comment, and I love it. Let's read. We must read that comment before we go into the, the cocoa. We'll go and watch Christmas list again. Let me find this comment. I hope I have not deleted it because sometimes, you know, we delete. This person said... Picture this, all of these YouTubers hop off the plane right next to a rich area in Trinidad, but instead drove about 40 to 60 minutes away from, the, from that area and went straight to multiple known gang areas where young black men actively smoke and drink all day long. <laughs> Lambruski, Lambruska. Fire burn them every time and every day. So this comment was on Coco Girl. It was on Coco Girl's video because 
Coco girl was only with these gang boys, smoking young, young boys, teenage boys, doing the bad, bad things. These are the things Coco girl went to Trinidad to show the whole world that this is the happening of is happening in Trinidad. This kind of behavior can only destroy the reputation of a country. Instead of saying you are promoting this country or you are promoting these people, you are destroying their reputation. It's not that people want somebody to hide what is in a country. No, it's not a matter of hiding. But when you go to a country and you are only showing the bad side of the country, just like this person say, how do you come out of a plane and you leave all the rich, rich area in Trinidad? Because maybe you cannot pay where you are staying. Or maybe you are looking for your YouTube views. You just want to get the real, in fact, that views you are looking for. You want to get it. What do you do? You just go and just go into the bad side and show people that this is the cocoa in Trinidad. And you laugh and say that, oh, I went to Trinidad. And this is, I don't know, even though they did not do this worse in Jamaica. I'm sorry to say this thing. They did not do it. I don't know what. Trinidad did to these people to promote Trinidad in a very bad way like this. And then a lot of Trinidadians say that it's good for their government. Their government is bad. That is what, this is your country. Tell Chris to tell you that if there are no bad places in their country. Tell Coco Girl that her country is fighting how many years with Palestine. How many years is her country fighting? Has she settled the cause in her country? No. But she came to your country. She came to your country to show the bad side of your own country. Why didn't she go to the war places in her country and show the bad, bad places of war? How people, or go to Palestine and show those places. If you really want to show the whole world that not everybody is bad, let her go to Palestine. Let her go to her country, Israel, and show us the cocoa. That is how it should be. When I talk, people don't see. Some people are not all, because a lot of people reason with me. You can only deceive a fool, but a person that has sense, you can never deceive that person to tell me that what Chris and all this cocoa girl and whatsoever. Look at Dim Wango. I didn't even plan to talk about her. When these people are using people, you people don't see. Do you see me? I have not watched the Mongo, but I just sight, sight like this, one side of my eye. Just look at her video. Eh? I don't know even how I even get into that, her video. Come and see Shane, the man she kidnapped from Jamaica. Yes, I say kidnap. She kidnapped Shane because Shane is somebody that has not traveled before. He's somebody that's still in his shell. So she said, let me kidnap this one and use him for my own advantage. Kidnap this boy. Look at what she did to the boy. When Tim Wango is, is making videos, Shane is doing like a mugu, mumu. He's even running away. The way Tim Wango is manipulating that boy and treating that boy, a man for that matter. A man that maybe, because they say according to them, almost all Jamaicans have baby mamas. Even at 15 years old, the boys already have baby mamas. Even Coco Girl in that same video, I told you guys I don't want to put the video. Coco girl said that Jamaican men can cheat. She said Jamaican men, even if they are married, they still follow other women. And it's true, we see it now on Di Mwango and the, the Kino master. So what am I even saying? Now Di Mwango kidnapped this boy from Jamaica. And now the boy is now her boy boy, if you know what is boy boy. Because you pay somebody plane ticket, the person has to do whatsoever. Do you see that shame? Like somebody that is happy. That guy is not happy in his life at all. That guy has become like toy to Di Mwango. Now he's a toy boy that she's traveling with him up and down and be using for her own use, for her own money, for her own channel. When we tell you guys, Shane, go, you can still make it on your own. Are you going to be following Di Mwango in the ass forever? No. You will be following a woman like this. And the woman will be directing, will be controlling you. Like you are nobody. When we talk, they say, oh, this woman is wicked. You people, if you, don't, if you say you will not hear, you, will, you must see. Let's go and watch again, guys. Christmas Elisi on the street of Trinidad. How one woman, one auntie, one auntie just disrespect herself because of Christmas Elisi. 
Let's go and watch her, guys, and come back. Here or the government. Yeah. I just thought for Let's see. So just, just, just so you understand, right? With, with my charge, mm -hmm. there was never a mention of which video was in question or what the actual conversation was. Right. So my initial thought was take it all down because, because during my interrogation stage. They were like sweating, saying that what I had done was so wrong. Right. My question to them was, if it's so wrong, why haven't you asked me to remove this? So why do you want to keep this up, yeah. right? Oh, why do you want to keep this? Hello? Oh God, I'll miss you. Oh my goodness. I just <laughs> look for you all the time and I just can't yeah. see you. I just back. got to watch you before I go and sleep. Yeah. They do your undress, you highlight them because they was doing shoppiness and you yeah. come from away and do the right thing. Yeah. Oh God, I miss you. It's my second, my second day out, so and I'm enjoying this. I just always look for you on YouTube, and yeah. they take down the thing. Yeah. It's yeah. an embarrassment. Yeah. But you to come and dig up all these things. They don't want you. I love you. I really love you. Yeah, amazing. Look at the the support has been incredible. Yeah. And less I love. love and less love. Yeah. Oh so, God. Come on. Thank you so much. It's best best. Thank, come you. On. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Chris, yeah. bye. Yeah. The love is so. To, so to continue on, I took the videos down. <laughs> yeah. I didn't delete them. I just asked my wife in Toronto to yeah, yeah. privatize it what until it? we what can find out. So I, last night I put six videos back up. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna watch everyone individually to see if there's anything that I think yeah, would yeah. be a reason for problem, and yeah. every video will go back up. Yes. Well, I was looking at the videos one by one, and I was, a matter of fact, I was going through all your content. Yes. But I find it, comb just going through it to see like. What is the real problem? Yes. And I honestly believe that the government or the people yes. who are against you. Hello, hello. Big up yourself. Yeah, I'm man. honored. Of course, yeah, of course. Oh my Congrats. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. So yeah. I personally think that they never looked at your videos properly. I think that they just see little 30 second scripts with little guns and things and feel like you was inciting that. But when you look at Chris' content yeah. deeply, it's positive content. I think it's positive. I think it's positive. My intention is never to go to a country and make it look bad. Of course. Jezebels, concubines, uh, you name them Judas Iscariot, and you did even get it. Guys, are you okay up there? You are not getting this game. This is a game. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Never ending saga. Really? Oh, I'm jealous that you don't come down to this. <laughs> Auntie, go and sit down. Hey, you come out here, come and dig the things. Dig the witch things. <laughs> You cannot dig your country. You are waiting for your Muzungu Messiah to come and dig your country. Oh, Chris, I miss you. You miss him in your bedroom or where? <laughs> are you dreaming of Christmas, Lizzie, every night? Oh, I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Come and see Chris. Hey, Christmas, Lizzie, you got what you wanted. Oh. Wallahi, you got. Only in Jamaica, Chris got this attention. Sorry, why am I saying Jamaica, guys? Only in Trinidad, only in Trinidad he got this attention. <laughs> Do you know that this guy always look for the helpless? I'm sorry to say this thing. If he knows that you are helpless, you are his target. He will, exactly I used to, I, I asked myself, I said, how on earth did Chris carry up on all the people in Kenya? Is Uncle Mo, let me promote Uncle Mo today, is Uncle Mo, Chris chose like this to be walking to carry around in Kenya called Uncle Mo that cannot show Chris anything in Kenya. Because he looked for people that when he says anything, these people will see him like God and they worship him. But the real people that know they think go, the real people that have the sense, he don't go to them. That is exactly what he did in Africa. And this woman saying, oh, Chris, I love you, I miss you. If you know, I, I told these guys, they don't know Chris. They just saw Chris like this in Trinidad and that is all. Chris can never have anything to do with you. Chris said 10 times, in fact, million times in Africa. 
He don't par with the women. Chris, apart from his wife, according to him, <laughs> even Chris cannot buy water for you as a woman. I'm not the one that said it. Though. Chris said it by himself. He don't buy drinks for any woman because he's married. Like, seriously, buying drinks for a woman doesn't mean that you're already knocking the woman. No. You are not knocking the woman. And this auntie, you don't know who Chris is. You say, you miss him. I check you every day. Oh, they did you injust. I, the thing there, the thing they paper my heart when I heard some Trinidadian saying that they did Chris injustice. What a shame. Who did injustice to this man? Can you people tell me the injustice that they did to this man? You decided to even tarnish your own people and lift up this, this man. Somebody that come to your country to promote only gangsters is the one that is the Messiah now. You people are lying down on the street. Let's go and watch her again, one clip, guys, and then we call it the day because no matter how I shout, it's still the same thing. What I go, let's go and watch another interview with the man and then we vamos. I have some questions. You want to know what is your you know, view on this whole Christmas Day situation? Well, first and foremost, it's, it's an honor to see Christmas is out. Freedom. And freedom is a must, as we always say. Listen, I think it's a, it's a witch hunt because um, the government is painting this picture like they don't know what is going on in Trinidad and Tobago. It takes somebody that is far away to come and he's a journalist, he's an independent journalist. All he came and do was just open a little platform for people to hear their view. That's what the work of a journalist is. You go in, you highlight it, it's factual, you highlight what is going on, you take views, you take opinion and that's it. I, 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 I don't see the reason why Mr. Christmas List should be painted as a scapegoat for what is going on in Trinidad. Because it's a, and, and the only thing I've heard in all these little community that everybody goes in and says that the government is not doing enough. The, put, put the guns away. That's been the cry. Put the guns away. Yeah. Is that the government is not. Because when you go into some of these little communities, you see there's little programs, you know. Mm -hmm. But these programs are this dysfunctional they are not up and running they're, they're, they're not providing anything for the youth you know so everybody's kind of you know crying so yeah. what he just came and do was just to, just just give the people a voice mm -hmm. you know to just hear it and to, to showcase to their government that this is what is really happening in the community you understand what I'm saying yeah, and, and and you see it everywhere you go yeah. you understand so people need a platform to let their voice be heard you know, yeah, and that's a constitutional right. That, that's not something you can't say, well, a, 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 a gentleman came into our country and he doesn't have the right work permit and mm -hmm. he's going around and doing this and doing that. It's a platform. It's Everybody have freedom. Yes, sir. Everybody have freedom of speech, freedom of expression, uh, no you know, and, and that's how, how this country, this is a great country, you know, yeah, and the government have to understand that, that Chris TV. didn't come yeah, here, here right? to showcase any gangs or nothing like that. All he just came here was to be a voice and let the, the voice of the people speak and yes. be heard. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think of your Christmas situation? Christmas is a good man. Yeah. And all the respect. Yeah. Big man thing. Christmas is a good man. But at the end of the day, when he pass, call him back. When, when he, he passed, when he passed, right? No, no, what he not what he passed. Mm -hmm. What happened from then? Coming okay, back now. English Premier League. Liverpool versus <laughs> Manchester United. <laughs> 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 Self-made journalist. 
Guys, even me that you are seeing me sitting here in my cabin, I am a journalist on my own. <laughs> and I'm doing my things on my own. <laughs> so this guy just sat down like this and called Chris a journalist. <laughs> I don't know why they don't want to accept this Chris department on YouTube. As long as I am on the carbon here, yeah. <laughs> Chris is a YouTuber. Even him himself, he proclaimed and said he is not a journalist. So why will a man, able man like this in Trinidad, stand up like this and say, oh, Chris is a journalist. A self-made journalist doing his things on his own. Now he's doing his journalism on the street of Trinidad. Why can't he go to his country and do this journalism he's doing? <laughs> You know, when you know that, I, I'm asking myself, I said, did Chris, did he really pay the government? Did he really bribe these people to allow him to be free like this in Trinidad? When you see something like that, something must be behind it. He has bribed them with money. <laughs> All the GoFund money is talking. The GoFund money, the GoFund money is gingering the government. <laughs> Corruption. In fact, these people, you carry this Africa corruption. And even when they took you there, Buffalo soldiers. <laughs> when they took you there, you did not forget about the corruption in Africa. You still carry this corruption. And you are still gingering yourself with it. Because if not that this man pay money, I'm telling you guys there is no how. This man will be free in Trinidad like that. And showing the whole world that nobody can do him nothing in Trinidad. That is, by the way, guys, I was thinking that we we're going to call it a day, but I don't want to call it a day. There's a video. I'm going to be playing this video on my background. And then I tell you guys the little story about it. And then we call it a day. So I saw this video actually on IG. And I said, no, I really, I was, I felt so bad. This video is made in Nigeria. Guys, this is the reality. Eh? There is no corner, corner, no in fact, there is no, um, how do you say it? There is no wuru in this video. This is exactly as you see this lady like this, this young lady. I think she's 26 years old. This girl is living in this gutter water. This is where she lives. And this girl, she says she's in a university, 300 level. Her mom is late. Her father is still living. But she's living alone, taking care of herself. She's a Muslim girl, uh, finding money to pay her school fees in the university. Like, she goes to the uh, people's home, teach their children, they pay her. And when they pay her, she uses the money and pay for her school fees. That is a woman of dignity. That is why sometimes when I see some people, they come and they say they used to enter a shower or do some things, bad, bad things because of poverty. I would say these people that are complaining, their poverty did not reach this, this girl's poverty. Guys, do you know how even me that I was watching this water, I was watching this girl from the screen. I'm not there. Guys, this person is living inside water. I'm not, I have seen other people living inside water in Nigeria, but not as bad as this one. This one, the water has turned into Real, in fact, the potopoto -poto is too much. Very black water like this. She cooked inside that water. She has the clean water that she's using to cook. She cooked there. She sleeps there with mosquitoes and everything. What a shame. This is a country that we have government. This is a country that have oil. Look at how some of the citizens are suffering. Living inside protocol like this. When will Africa change? When? A normal human being living inside this protocol. When I saw this video, guys, I don't even, in fact, my words from my mouth came out all and they left. The way the girl was explaining, and she has been living inside this water. She has been living inside this protocol water, guys, over 10 years, according to the girl. I could not play the video for you guys to hear because there's a music from IG. And I don't want to have anything to do with copyright or something. But this is what we call real suffering. But despite the suffering, she still holds her dignity. If it is some women, 
They will even remove the religion and start following men up and down to pay their school fees in the university. I was so ashamed. The one that pains me a lot is the one she said that there was a day her key fell down and she cannot go and leave that place without locking it. I said, ah, ah. so thieves have the, in fact, they have the ginger to even enter somebody that is, is living on water like this. Thieves even have the ginger to enter there and steal something. So she said that she cried and she cried and she cried. And what did she do? She had to dip her hand inside that dirty water and take her key. But the real ginger is, guys, living for over 10 years inside that kind of water. Hey, God have mercy on us. I'm so happy because the man that was interviewing her, God bless him, he gave her 50,000 naira and he said he was going to look for a place, a better place for her because she deserved it. This is a girl in 300 level in the university sponsoring herself and doing everything. It's not that she doesn't have a father. She have a father and she's suffering like this. Tomorrow when she becomes something, when she starts making money, the useless man will appear from nowhere and say, this is my daughter. Some men, eh, the way God will punish some men is only, only if not, some women also abandon their children. Some parents, let us put it that way. Know that your parents is still alive and you are living in this kind of condition. May God help us in this world. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for you guys today. We surely see you today, Monday. I hope you are enjoying your weekends. If you love me, I love you back to back. And thank you so much for always supporting the Black Beauty TV. We will surely see you again. Like the video and kindly follow my, uh, my channel. Subscribe to the Black Beauty TV and we will surely see you again in another banger. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye. It's me, daughter of the soil. I love you all. Have a wonderful weekend. Beneath the shadows deep, content creator mouse, but skin is what they keep. Where will lies they spin? The promises so far, but when it comes to truth, they never told a lie. Invest with me, they say your money's gonna go, but once you take the bait, pockets start to go. Double heart smiles while hearts inside they bleed. I feel like tropic smiles, driven by pure greed. Truth gets twisted, lines all fade away. In the bonds, this game of fortunes are made. Living flashy on the surface, but inside it decays. Built upon shattered dreams and stolen paydays. Once you take the picture, pockets start to go.